Hello, I'm Jeff Lammers, founder of PadStar Publishing and AppTutor Apps. In this video, we'd like to show you how you can use AppTutor Apps and a single iPad in front of a classroom to make subjects come to life. These are great teaching tools in a classroom environment. First, let's talk about ways to hook an iPad to a projector. The simplest is a VGA to iPad adapter cable, available online or at your Apple Store. You can always simply lay the iPad on an overhead projector, or if you have an Apple TV, you can mirror your screen through that device. Now let's begin with a Learn module. Here is an example of a Learn module and how you may use it in a classroom setting. When working with word problems, there are methods to use that can help solve the problem. I call mine the trust method because the steps spell out trust. T. Target the question. Circle it. R. Reread the word problem. U. Underline the important words. S. Solve the problem. T. Talk it over. Let's trust this word problem. Now let's look at the try section. These are interactive modules to help children learn. In this one, we have Picture Edition, Number Factory, The Sandbox, Flashcards, App Tutor Challenge. Also, there are an array of worksheets that are easy to use as well in front of the class. Here is a module we call The Sandbox. You can tap the teacher icon to read the question aloud, and then you can use these simple drag-in icons to demonstrate how to solve the word problem. Three apples and two oranges. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is five. In this third grade module, we explore word problems from a different angle. They are not asked to solve the problems, but they are asked to identify and pick apart a word problem so that they can turn it into a math problem. As you can see here, they are asked to identify the key words in the problem that determine how to turn words into math. Here it is asking to identify the word that tells you it is an estimate. Here is the rounding coach from the place value and rounding app. It asks you to identify the place value, then which digit determines if you round up or down and then solve the problem. You just can't do this on a whiteboard or in a textbook. Another module in the place value and rounding app is WordForm. Here it asks you to scroll to a three digit number and as you do it shows you the expanded form, the place value form, and the word form. This is a great example of how AppTutor makes apps and learning come to life. Here, AppTutor makes a multiplication table come to life. Long multiplication is always another challenging hurdle for children to learn. Here, they step through the problem as it shows you what to multiply, what to add, what to carry forward, and so on. This is a very visual way to work through long multiplications in a classroom environment. At any time, you can hit the Hints button and see a subject overview of everything covered in the app. Now let's look at the test section. Each app has a fully common core balanced test. Use the 10 frames to add. Is the following equation true or false? 9 plus 11 equals 19. Using the test section is another great way to use AppTutor in front of the class.
There are four types of answers, multiple choice, true-false, picture answers as you see here, and keypad entry answers. Anytime a question is answered incorrectly, the app shows you the correct answer and gives you time to explain what is wrong. As you can see, AppTutor apps are a great way to use an iPad in front of a classroom. These apps make subject matter come to life like you just can't do on a whiteboard. For more information, go to the Apple Store and search AppTutor, A-P-P-T-U-T-O-R, all one word. We hope this helps, and we look forward to seeing you in the future.